Under the cover of darkness, a stray cat came forward to eat. I feed this stray at the condominium where I stay every day. But usually, there's another more wary stray who does not come out until we leave. When this happens, we leave the food here and collect it the next day. I am considered a feeder in this program called TNR. What is TNR? Well, this video will explain more. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. TNR is a trap, neuter and release program in Singapore meant to sterilize stray cats, then return them back to their original neighborhood. It was created in order to combat the overpopulation of stray cats in a more humane way as compared to euthanasia. TNR was first started in 1999 by AVA and Cat Welfare Society, CWS. But due to severe acute respiratory system, SARS, in 2003, it was terminated. In 2013, it was brought back again in four different districts, and by 2016, it had become a nationwide program. On 5th November 2017, I met two women who were unloading cages and carriers with cats inside. They told me about the TNR program and how it was run by volunteers at CWS. This program was also made successful by these individuals, feeders, trappers, transporters, rescuers, and fosterers. And these organizations, AVA, Town Council, and CWS. First, the feeders are in charge of buying the food, feeding the cats in the evening, cleaning up the litter to avoid complaints and to pay for vet treatments. Number two, the trappers who trap the cats use four different methods. The humaniate trap, the drop trap, net, and sedatives. Humaniate traps are left open with food inside to lure the cat in, and upon stepping on the raised pedal, the door will fall shut. The drop trap requires a person to stand nearby and wait until the cat is under the trap, eating the food before pulling the string or pressing the remote if it is an electronic trap. The nets are also very common and are used to physically catch more ferocious or wary cats. Sedatives are more uncommon as they require working with a vet in order to attain it. Third are the transporters who help ferry the cats to the vet. They are paid by CWS $100 per trip with an average of 6 to 7 cats in the van. There are professional transporters as well as individual transporters who use their own cars. During the interview with the ladies, I was told that while transporting the cats, they would sometimes have water bags hurled at them or be cursed at. Some residents are intolerant of strays as they dirty the place. In the case of HDB, Housing and Development Board Flats, Town Council may not let cats return if residents file a complaint. Fourth would be the rescuers, who are individuals that rescue strays in distress. For example, when they are stuck in drains or trees. Lastly, will be the fosterers, who temporarily look after the cats after their operation. The first organisation is the AVA, who regulates welfare of cats and cat cruelty cases. The second is the town council, who attends to complaints of residents. In the past, they did work together with pest control to cull the cats but now work closely with CWS to make TNR possible. The last organisation is CWS, who helps subsidise the sterilisation fee, which normally costs $30 for males and $60 to $100 for females. They also help mediate between different parties and resolve issues such as cat abandonment and cat hoarders. In fact, in 2016 alone, there were 9 cases of cat hoarding and even more cases of low-income earners with many cats. This meant CWS had to either greatly subsidise the sterilisation of cats or do it free of charge. Another issue they face would be cat abandonment from individual home breeders and cruelty cases of cats being thrown down flats. Some solutions to these problems are cat adoptions through drives or through the SCSP, Stray Cat Sterilisation Program in Singapore run by the AVA and CWS. Is the TNR program effective? 
As shown through the table, the number of strays in Singapore has dropped by 100,000 in the last 30 years. The next table shows the change in the number of cats in other countries since the TNR program was started. The last table shows the change in the number of cats euthanized annually in Singapore and other countries. Hence why it is clear that the TNR program is effective in reducing stray population. In order to tell a stray is part of this program, the left ear will be clipped slightly to indicate they have been sterilized. Many strays have been abused before, hence their mistrust towards us. As a feeder, I've seen cats who act this way myself. However, with the help of this program, we can hope for a better future where kittens like these won't have to live on the streets and will finally be adopted by a good home.